Hey y'all, so these are my two female kind of corsos. Good girl, Dolce. Giddy Dolce. Dolce is the one in the black coat and the gray brindle is Lucia. Lucia is only a year old. And the little puppy is a pit bull puppy. Six months old. That's Gypsy. And then Ozzy in the very back there is the alpha kind of corso. Alpha male. So my previous video, I was saying how Dolce doesn't really play out here anymore. And I think it's because she realizes this one-year-old puppy is already stronger than her. And yep, there she goes. I just wanted to get it on film for you real quick to show you what happens. It was a rare moment when Dolce actually entertained Lucia for a little sparring, but you can see she quickly gave up and went back inside. And this is Tux is my pit bull mix if you're just tuning in for the first time. He's a very docile male. The oldest of the pack, but kind of the lowest ranking member as far as hierarchy because he's very uh, non-confrontational, not dominant at all. But let's go see. See, see what I mean about Dolce? Dolce. You don't want to play anymore? It's not your jam anymore. Yeah, you didn't want to play. Yeah, so she's uh, she's the one that's overweight. You need to get the weight off of her. Sorry, I just... The lights are off in the house because I just woke up. <laughs> and I immediately went outside because the dogs were barking up a tree. I didn't see anything. Dolce! Why you don't want to go play anymore? Well, honey... Just, I'll play with this little puppy who I know I can dominate, but I'm not playing with that big girl. And the thing is, Lucia is not a very dominant dog per se, as far as temperament. You know, as, I mean, being a kind of corso, she's got some dominance, but um, compared to my other corso, she's nowhere near as dominant as Dolce. Dolce girl. And so. Um, I think Dolce, <laughs> she, she's, she's saving face because she doesn't want to lose the battle. Hey, baby girl. Are you hungry? Who's hungry? To, um, to Lu uh, Lucia. Lucia. See how big Lucia is, y'all? She's much bigger than Dolce. Oh, I gotta get me some coffee. Oh, man, y'all. Okay, baby girl. Let me put my coffee on so I can think straight. Oh, it's rough this morning. I worked out uh, pretty hard last night, and now I'm paying the price because everything hurts. <laughs> I'm older, so it takes me a while to get my my joint, my bones, and my joints moving when I first wake up. Ugh. It's usually painful when I wake up, but it's a mix. It's a mix between um, just being old, or <laughs> or getting older, and the post-workout. Ooh, Ozzy's barking. Go see what it is, Ozzy. Ozzy.
Where is it, Lucia? Oh. That's what it is. Yeah, pretty good, huh? See that car back there? Ozzy was barking pretty loud. See, nothing gets past the Corso. Nothing gets past the Corso. And I think the reason the other dogs weren't barking as much is because there's not actually a person out there yet. Lucia is very concerned. Uh, I think the person is still in their car. I'm not sure what that person's doing out there, but... Yeah, I see the two dogs. They're not gonna. They're not gonna let it go. So Ozzy issued several warning barks to whoever that is. Good boy, Oz. And uh, hi, Papa. Good boy, Oz. Very good. Very good. You watch it. You watch it, Papa. Go see. You watch it. So, yeah, good. That's the purpose of a uh, Connie Corso. It's just to guard and protect. You do it, do it, do it very, very well. You know, most likely, if this is an, another breed, you know, say like a Labrador or something, wouldn't be he wouldn't be out there barking at a car for, that's a, quite a distance. I think it's pretty remarkable because. As he was inside with me, and uh, and he heard this car driving up that wasn't even in my driveway. Boy, that car, well, that car is actually a distance from my driveway, so he just knew. They're extremely perceptive about every little change in their environment. It's truly remarkable. How well and how in tune they are with their environment that they pick up on every little detail that's out of the norm. Yeah, she she uh, actually stays close to me. She's very protective as well. And the female kind of horses I find are. I mean, males and females are both protective, but the females, in my limited experience, but also from what I've read from other accounts, is that they, um, sorry, I'm, whew, they tend to stay close to you more and pr protect you. Dolce has been like that too, I've noticed. She will... Set this down for a sec. will tend to um, stick by me. If there's a threat, she'll go. She'll be. She'll guard me. Um, um, so yeah, she. What she'll do is she'll go out to the, the, the threat, you know, and bark or whatever she has to do, and then she'll quickly come back to me to stick to me. And also, Dolce. My, you know, my, she's female. I don't know it's, if it's because she's female, but she sticks to me. Like, she just walks behind me, it, a little bit to my side, slightly behind, which is perfect how you want a dog to walk next to you. And uh, she'll do that on her own. Like, when I come home from work, all the dogs greet me. She'll, you know, and then I start walking to the door. She just walks... She, She's the one walking by my side. And uh, I've been noticing that more and more in Lucia as well. As you saw earlier, you, you know, when they were confronting whatever that potential threat was to them, they, uh, you know, Dolce was inside because I don't know what's going on with her. I, really, I think something's wrong. I don't know. She's got something medically going on or what, but... But anyway, Lucia, being the other female kind of corso, was the one that was constantly coming back to me, to my side. 
to check on me. So interesting. This is my my uh, stove top percolator that I've been using. I don't know if any of y'all used one of these, but I've been really liking it. I used to use a French press, and I still do sometimes, but I don't know. The coffee to me just tastes better when it's in this percolator stove top. <sighs> okay, so now, what did I do with the lid? <laughs> probably shouldn't be filming videos before I have my coffee because my brain is just so not with it. Um, hi, Taxi. What was it, Tex? What was it, Tex? Yeah, see what I mean about his temperament? He rolls over for anybody that comes up to him like this. Very, very docile. Yes, my tugs. So anyways, y'all. I don't know what these where these dogs are. Let me go out there and see. I just got brand new slippers and house shoes anyways. <laughs> And they're already getting muddy <laughs> because this little girl right here, let me tell you why, she chewed up my boot. Yep, she chewed up my boot. I had to order new boots. I usually have a pair of boots by the, by the door. <laughs> yeah, you did. Naughty girl. Yeah, I usually have a pair of boots by the door that I just slip on, and they're really rugged. I love them because I can walk through cactus with them and don't even feel it. And so, there they are. That car must have left because Ozzy's let his guard down a little bit. Yeah, so I had to order new boots. They're very expensive. It was an expensive uh, thing that the dog did. Hey, papa. But it's part and parcel of having a, a puppy. She takes pieces of my clothing out. She drags it out if she can get a hold of it. I try to put everything up. Um, but she'll just drag it outside. And when I come home, I've got pants and, you know, shirts and everything that she she's drug outside. And most likely because it has my scent on it. It comforts her. It's like a security blanket to her. The clothing she doesn't chew. She just drags it outside and sleeps next to it. <laughs> Probably waiting for me to get home. But the boot. yeah. And the other thing about the shoes. A lot of times if she'll drag a shoe out there. Um... She will, uh, she'll not, she won't chew it. She doesn't always chew it. Sometimes it's just out there as like a security blanket for her, I think. But the boot this time was just too tempting. Had a, the hard rubber sole and she chewed through that. That was a leather boot. And Ariat, Ariat is the brand. Love it. And, uh, really, really rugged leather that she was just able to rip through with her jaws. <sighs> What's that, Tex? Oh, Tex looks looking interested in Lucia. I think it's because Lucia's probably around her heat cycle. Better not, better not let Ozzy see that, Tex. Tex, you better not let, you better not let Ozzy see that. That you're hanging out with Lucia. <laughs> Just joking, y'all. Kind of. I have to correct Ozzy when he when he uh, runs runs tucks away because he will try to. He's not aggressive, but he'll try to show tucks. Oh, Ozzy's barking again. Sorry, this video is so discombobulated. It's going. Oh, 
just in time. That was perfect timing. I really don't like these electric burners. I prefer the, the gas, but I don't have gas in the stove. Actually, there's no gas in the house at all, which is unfortunate. It's nice to have gas if you if you have an electric outing, if you lose power. Sometimes it's the only thing that can keep you warm, but I do have a fireplace. It's wood burning, so I got lots of wood in the shed there stored up. So if we did ever have a an electric failure, then I would be able to have some heat. Yes, you ready for for eating time? Yes, no, girl, you need to you need to get out there and get some exercise, Dolce, Dolce, baby girl, my good girl, my good girl. What's wrong, Dolce? Hmm. Yeah, man, y'all. She ah, uh, she probably just take her to the vet one more time, make sure nothing's wrong with her, and get her blood drawn and check her chemistries her thyroid again she it worries me that she wasn't out there when that car was out there look how, look how rotund her stomach is i want to make sure nothing's wrong with her i think she's, she's just obese she needs to uh not eat as much um but uh and she definitely needs the exercise and thank you for your comments everybody i um wanted to tell you if i don't get back to you right away I, I i do read all the comments it's just sometimes i don't have the time at the moment to respond but someone did mention a treadmill thank you for that that's a great suggestion really good suggestion um, the treadmill so i have to look into that I think it would take a, a while to train her not to freak out about it. She's very suspicious of things like that. But, you know, I could train her. It would take some time to be able to run on a treadmill. Oh, goodness. So, yeah, y'all. Um, oh, the other thing I wanted to mention real quick, and then I'll try to end this video. It's, I know it's getting long and it's all over the place, but I wanted to mention to you that um, I just discovered something <laughs> that I'm not doing on the YouTube channel. It's a feature that I wasn't aware of. It was a section in, in, in my channel <clears throat> that I didn't realize. There's an area I just discovered. It's called uh, and it's comments that are held for review. For whatever reason, the YouTube app or whatever it is YouTube studio that you use to to um, manage your channel. Sorry, I don't know why. I just don't know why it held some of these comments for review because it's people that have been commenting on the channel and, and you know, comment good comments. So, and not, not anything controversial, you know, like that should be flagged. It was flagged. I don't know why it was flagged. Um, and so... If I haven't responded to your comment in a long time, it's and and you ask me a question, it's uh, it's probably because it, it's in there with there's several. I mean, I want to say probably at least fifty that are just in that held for review section. Um, some of them I tried to comment on, but I don't know if it did. But um, but yeah. So don't think I'm ignoring you intentionally. If you asked me a question, and this, you know, and it wasn't like a um, a rude comment, like if it was a sincere comment, um, and it wasn't anything, you know, controversial or uh, what you call it, disrespectful kind of comment, something like that. Which I don't get very many of those. Every once in a while I do, but not people that are subscribers are, are. I think. For the most part really good people and i appreciate all of you and you know i just don't know why youtube quarantined some of your comments <laughs> so anyway i want to quickly ex explain that don't be offended if i don't comment back to you right away because now now I'm, I'm having to look i'm gonna have to look in that section uh 
that quarantine or whatever that held for review section every day to make sure I didn't miss someone's question or someone's comment. So, just wanted to put that out there. Thanks for being patient. You know, I, I haven't had this channel for very long, so I'm still actually just still learning about it. Luch, yeah. And one thing that I don't do, I know I've watched some channels. Not to bash anybody, but one thing, and I know everyone's got to do what they got to do, but some channels, sometimes it's more like watching like a QVC, like an advertisement, because they just advertise all these products on their channel, and then like during the video, they'll say, and, and here's, just, you know, this, they'll talk about some product that they're sponsored by, they're, or all their affiliates, you know, that they make money off of, and... I don't know. I just don't do that on my channel. I think a lot of the channels that are like hundreds of thousands of subscribers, not all of them, some of them just, like, I don't see Sins of Tempa do, doing that. She doesn't, she doesn't like uh, try to um, sell product during a video. She's got merch and everything, merchandise, but, which is, you know, good, I think. But, um, I don't know. When you log on to a channel and then they're like, and then here's this product that uh, you can buy, you know, and this and that. And, and then it's like, come in and you click the link down below because they'll get a commission if you click that product link that they talked about. I better stop while I'm ahead. I hate to throw it. I hate to bash any of that. It's just, for me, that's not my preference. So I'm saying all that to say that um, I could... Uh, be learning about how to do all that i just don't want to i just don't feel the need to 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 be like a commercial the only thing that you know that uh, that i do with my channel that youtube does is it put it, it puts ads within the video which i know is probably annoying but you know we do we do get uh some kickback from the ads not much at all trust me i'm not making hardly any any money from this channel but at least not anything that you can live off. I know some people, some people are actually making enough money to live off of because they've got all the um, the advertisements, uh, not, not only the advertisements, but the sponsorships. Um, but yeah, to me, I, I got a full-time job, so I'm not doing all that right now. And uh, whenever, I, whenever I'm on a channel and, and um, get down, get Get down, get down, get down, get down to Chia. Shh. Way too excited. Shh. Um, yeah, whenever I'm on a channel and they talk about, and here you can buy this product of mine, and you know, they start acting like a, it looks like a QVC channel, like a commercial, then uh, I usually click off right away. I get annoyed by it. But again, I hate to, I don't want to be bashing anybody because some people, that's how they make it, you know, they're doing very well with their YouTube and more power to them. I'm just explaining, that's the reason why I, part of the reason I don't know t too much about all the features YouTube has is because I haven't really explored them. Because most of them are, are how to make money and I don't know. And also, I, it's not my full-time job. The, a lot of the people that do that, um, you know, no shame to them at all because sometimes that's their full-time job. YouTube is their full-time job, so, um, you know, more power to them. That's, they're making extra money by marketing products during their video. But, um, and who knows, maybe one day after I retire, that's what I'll have to do. Or what I want to do, maybe, I don't know. But right now, I don't see the need for it, so I, I haven't really explored all the YouTube features. I'm just now figuring out that some of y'all's comments have been sitting in there. And I think it says after 30 or 60 days, all those comments get deleted. So I'm sure that that's happened to people and your comments were never seen. And I'm, I'm really sorry about that. I didn't know about it. But uh, anyway, just to throw that out there. Um, Gypsy. Naughty little girl. Chewed up my boot.
Oh, you chewed up my boot. Mm. Yeah, it's really hard because... Uh, <laughs> if you don't catch them in the act, it takes longer. I do tell her, you know, I let her know I'm not happy. You know, when I find it, like my boot, when I found it, I didn't hit her at all. I don't hit my, my animals, but what I did, as I said... I, mean, I held it to her and I said, is this my boot? I said, leave it. She started to look concerned when I said that. Hey, baby girl. But yeah, I just, I, I show it to her and I show in my voice that I'm not happy. And then I said, no, no. But you know, I, that only goes so far because it, it really has to be done when she's, it really has to be corrected when she's in the act. It, it's more effective that way. Gypsy girl. This my gypsy girl. She's so sweet, y'all. It's so sweet. Like most pit bulls are. Just truly uh, sweethearts. <clears throat> okay, well, I promised this video wasn't going to be long, and it, and it already is. <laughs> anyway, y'all, I hope y'all having a good day. Hi, Papa. Hi, my Papa. This my Ozzy. This my good boy. Yes. And um, thanks for watching, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Dolce. Dolce, girl.